Hello, Sam here with another video on the OCD Recovery YouTube channel. And um, before I carry on, um, if you do like this video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. There's some amazing free content on here and some brilliant, really good advice. Um, when I was struggling, it would have been a brilliant advice to have this when I first when I first understood OCD and realised I was suffering with it. Um, it would have been very, very helpful. And um, I have changed the scenery up a bit. Um, I'm trying to not make every video as boring. Me just sat there like that, um, up in the office. I'd rather change it up. Let's go in the kitchen. Let's do something different. Now, because I'm in the kitchen, um, I might have my dog walking about, squeaking with his toy. So apologies for that in advance. Um, and also get quite confused of why I'm just talking to nobody. That's what he thinks. Um, so he might just be looking at me, tilting his head, thinking, what is he doing? But we'll crack on anyway. I think he's upstairs because he's not there. <laughs> right, so I want to do a video on the importance of resisting the urge to do compulsions again when we're doing well. Oh, I thought that was quite important to cover. Now, so many times when you feel like you're making great progress, you're putting in the work and you really are seeing good signs, you're seeing positive signs, so your, your life structure might be getting much healthier, um, you're functioning a lot better. Of course, you're not absolutely recovered and thinking, oh, this is amazing, but you're getting better, you're functioning a lot better depending on where you were. Okay, so you'd be getting back into work, whatever, you're, you're, you're feeling better, all right? Now, boom, let's say you're triggered again. It is so easy to go back into that comfort trap, to go back into the safety trap, um, the illusions of certainty, and that involves performing compulsions. Okay, so avoidance, seeking reassurance, confession. I fell back into that trap many times because I felt like, no, this is too difficult. I can't go on. I need to go back into what I know. Um, and that is what kept me stuck for so long, going back to doing the avoidance, going back to confession everything remember a real event false memory cd i feel like i'd be getting somewhere and i go shit it's fine stuff but i've got to confess i can't possibly live this i can't um live this secret i've got to get all off my chest it would find something else boom okay so resisting that it's so it's so tempting to go back into that because you're like no that's going to keep me safe i can't deal with the discomfort anymore i can't deal with the uncertainty the confusion all the feelings that come with it when you're making progress Right, it's so easy to fall back into that. Okay, now you've got to think of it long term. Okay, so short term, yes, you think I want to go back. I want to go back into what I know. I want to feel safe. Now, that is what's going to keep you stuck, I'm afraid. I know you don't want to hear that, but that is the, the, the reality of it. Okay, you've got to think long term. So the discomfort now, the confusion now, the challenging, really tough times now where you feel like, oh, I can't do this anymore. When you feel incredibly anxious or cr chronically guilty, you feel like I can't do this any work anymore. Um, I've got to go back, curl up in a ball and cry myself to sleep. Now, no, that's not going to help. Yes, it's tough. We know that. And complaining and moaning isn't going to get you anywhere. And going back into that that search for certainty, that is going to keep you stuck. We need to think of our future self. Our future self is thanking us. And we know putting in the work now um, and not going back into the avoidance is going to help us long term. Okay, so if I give some examples of me. So when I was suffering with POCD, I feel like I was getting somewhere. Um, I, and that took a lot, a lot of work to get under. My beliefs were very, very rigid on the topic. Um, I was very scared. Um, I was ruminating all the time, locked up in a chronic guilt cycle, panicking, um, if only they knew, um, calling myself completely undeserving, I should be punished forever, um, I'm, the, I'm an evil, horrendous person, don't deserve any good, shouldn't be let off the hook, I could go on forever. Okay, that's why I thought of PUCD. Now, when I was getting somewhere, really working on the beliefs, doing the exposures, and just building a healthy life structure and getting my life back on track, and then boom, I get triggered. Now this, so many times, I went back into confession, back into reassurance, back into avoidance, constantly checking, constantly scanning. I did it so many times. Now, I know it's so easy to do that and it's so tempted. That's why we need to resist the urge to do that. It's so tempted to go back into that comfort trap. I know, but that is what kept me stuck. I can't highlight that enough. Okay, so we need to stop doing that. We need to carry on. Um, of course, it's going to be difficult. We know that. It's going to be challenging. But we need to carry on. Keep putting in the work that's got you so far. 
And yes, there are going to be bump is a bumpy roller coaster ride, but going back into those old behaviours is going to keep us stuck. All right, so we need to remember that as we're facing our fears and as we're trying to overcome these obstacles with OCD. Okay, so if I it's another theme that I suffer with a real event, false memory. There he is. I said he'll turn up. <laughs> there he goes. He's getting confused now. He's tilting his head like mad. Who are you talking to? He's thinking. <laughs> it's like got someone staring at me now, so the pressure's on. <laughs> so, with real event, false memory CD. Okay, so when my brain will be scanning and ruminating the past, trying to la latch on to an event, something that would make me confess the old world out, like, pour me heart out to everyone, that I can't possibly do with this, so I need to get it off my chest. Now, I was so easy to go back into analysing the past, trying to find the answer, trying to find the solution, trying to find this hidden key, the, this, the, the key to peace in the future. Now, going back into that search, I'm so glad I, I've, well, to, to gradually break out, I've not just boom broke out of it, but just to go, look, that is a dead end. It's not gonna get me anywhere. All right, so when I stopped analysing, I know it, it can feel automatic, but this is what I mean by breaking down the fears, um, working on our beliefs, and then it becomes less automatic. Okay, you're not going to get triggered as much, you're not going to latch onto it as much if you're no longer scared. But remember, it's a fear response. Okay, so if you're not scared of something in the past, and you know it's all about your perspective in the now, that is when change is going to start to happen. Okay, so searching the past again to go back into that comfort trap is what's going to keep you stuck. Okay, when I was suffering with sensory motor OCD, when it latched onto that, suddenly going back to checking everything, um, f constantly focusing on my blinking or, or my saliva or swallowing. And just with that, with me, that was a fear of fear mainly, of it being stuck, of a new theme gripping on there, um, not being be able to cope, um, noticing the sensation forever, not being able to focus on anything else in life not been able to try and achieve my goals because all I could think about is my blinking, just things like that, okay? And just being so scared of that. And then, okay, right, I need to try and it's like, no, that's what kept me stuck. I need to go, all right, I'm gonna live my life regardless of that. If all I could think about was my blinking for the rest of my life, I could still live a perfectly happy life. Of course, I wouldn't like that, I wouldn't want it at all, but I could still crack on with life, um, try to achieve my goals and just gradually bring it for the right. And this is what I mean by lowering the fear response. All right, I can't highlight that enough. So many times I went back to awfulizing, catastrophizing. All right, I've got to watch myself now a bit because society is very irrational. For example, when I'm at work and I hear this is awful, this is terrible, this is fucking oh, shit, I can't deal with this, I can't stand this, that's the worst thing in the world. Now it's so, so easy to go back into that sort of language and back into that attitude and mindset towards life when, all, when you hear it all around you. Okay, but without OCD, I wouldn't be rational. I wouldn't have changed my beliefs to think, okay, I don't like that, all right? Is is it really awful? No. Is it difficult? Is it a challenging part of my life? Is it, um, do you disagree with it? Yes, do you hate that, that act, whatever, but you're not saying it's the worst thing, total cat catastrophizing everything, awfulizing everything. That is when we go back into those, we're getting ourselves back into emotional trouble, causing that disturbance, when we go back into those rigid black and white demands that we put on ourselves. Okay, the musts, the shoulds, the oughts. So easy to slip back into it. Okay, many times I reminded myself of the Albert Ellis, How to Stubborn and Refuse to Make Yourself Miserable, uh, that book, very crucial just to read it again. Not compulsively reading it as soon as you felt a bit stuck, but just gradually applying those tools again that are laid out in the, in the book and the foundations of that book. Okay, it, it becomes sort of second nature after a while. All right, not to say this must not happen to me. Life must be fair. They must treat me fairly. It just becomes, it is just part of the thinking. But like I keep saying, it was so easy for me to fall back into that. All right, when you're when you're, when you're around that every day, um, because you hear it all the time. And of course you want life to be easy. I want life to be easy. Everyone wants life to be easy. But that's not reality of life. Okay, so when we work on our beliefs, constantly working on our beliefs, and then it'll gradually lower the fear. And it's going to come hand in hand with helping with OCD. When we're building our frustration tolerance as well. If I keep saying I can't stand this. Um, I can't stand anxiety. It's the worst thing in the world. I can't stand feeling guilty. This is the worst thing in the world. That's going to keep me stuck. 
Okay, I don't like that. I don't like feeling chronic guilt 24 seven, but I got on with it. I could stand it. I'm still here today, so I could obviously stand it. I didn't just dissolve into thin air, did I? All right, it's changing those beliefs. Watching those rigid demands coming back into play. Just want to end it with fear of fear as well. Okay, many times I ran away from OCD. So I'm feeling a lot better, making progress, seeing noticeable results in my life. And then, oh fuck, what is if it comes back? Oh shit. And then running away, being completely scared of it coming back, trying to escape even the thought of OCD coming back petrified me. Allowing that, eternally willing for it to come back. I don't want it to come back, of course. I don't want to go on and let's suffer with chronic OCD again for the next 30 years. No, I don't want that. But if it happened, if it was, if it, would it be the end of the world? No. Would it be awful? No. Could I still live my life? Yes. Just gradually breaking down those beliefs and not going from zero to 100, black and white, worst thing in the world. Can't highlight enough how much you cut that thinking out. Okay, and that also links into the fear of setbacks the setbacks and relapses. Okay, if they happen, they happen. You're just falling off your bike, you can get back on it. Okay, putting in the work and not going back into that comfort trap is so easy to do. Okay. The question I ask myself, I used to ask myself a lot, would I rather be stuck with OCD forever or do I want to go through this discomfort, this confusion, this very challenging time now to get better and potentially unlock the key to freedom? I might never get there, okay? There's no guarantee that you'll recover, but I'm going to give it a bloody good try, okay? I, I really don't want to be stuck with OCD forever, so I'm going to give it all I got. Um, we're more than likely only got one life on this planet, so let's give it a bloody good shot um, and, and we've got this. Okay, there is so much hope. Um, I've been in your shoes if you're watching this video and really struggling. You can get there if you put in the work. All right, hope you, f hope you found this video very helpful. If you have, please leave a like, that'd be much appreciated. Um, the comments on my recent videos have been, I've, I've liked very much. Um, I always do appreciate feedback or any suggestions for videos and just support in general. It's much, much appreciated. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.